what the AI is doing. There are those saying AI is constantly getting better and doing faster. It's going to be ahead of us. Well, that could very well be. But I think what we've got to do is look at what we can do. One of the things that I talk about in my seminars when I'm talking about AI that you do not want to do would be to just put in a prompt into, say, chat GPT and have it come back with an answer and go, hey, there's my article. I've got exactly what I need. Copy it and paste it. That's all I have to do. That is not the way to do it. I would recommend instead you let it, chat GPT, take your prompt and then it moves around getting some ideas on it and gives you an output. Then what you do is you take that and you do what I like to call you eyes it. You make it for you. So someone, uh, Bob, will Bob eyes it. Mary would Mary eyes it. Uh, Terry, I would Terry eyes it. Sounds a little <laughs> funny there. But Terry eyes it. Put it in there. You want to put your own voice in there, your own feeling, your own idea. You know that seminar you went to last March that was really good. And the instructor, she was talking about something and she just made some excellent points. Chat GPT doesn't know about that. Chat GPT would not have it, but you can take that and put in there this third point that it just gave back and expand on it to say that's very much like a seminar I went to last March when Ms. Smith was saying this and this and this, and I like what she said about that because of this and this. You're you izing it, making it you, your voice, your feelings, your ideas. And I think that's where the best writers are today. The best writers are not the ones who are saying, I'm just going to copy it and paste it. As tempting as that is, and as easy it would be for lazy folks like me to say, hey, I'll just copy and paste it. Use that as the starter. Use that as the way to get your ideas. And then what I would do after I've done that, I feed that back again through ChatGPT, asking it to clarify it, to make sure there's no grammar errors, make sure there's no spelling errors. And I can even try to maybe funny it up a little bit, make it a little bit funnier if that would be appropriate or make this sound more scholarly. If I'm in a doctoral dissertation, okay, I might need to adjust a little bit there too. But the ultimate product would be a combination of you and the ideas that you initially get from chat GPT or perplexity or Claude or whatever tool you're using. Make sure that is the starting point and then you Make sure it's got your feeling and your soul, the real human in you. Because the, the computers will not be so, you humans, they're going to be big A. You mentioned what's happening in Japan. And yes, that's very important. In Japan, they have a real challenge right now, as many countries do. They have a population that is growing except, older all the time. And there's not as many young people who traditionally and historically have been there to serve. Well, this is where AI and robots come in because much of the care that they can give for the elderly who might be in a small uh, apartment there in Akihabara or Shinjuku around Tokyo, and they're on there, they don't have the resources for that. But we could have machines that monitor what's going on. The machines can clear, clean the house, they can vacuum, they can do dishes done the right way, they can do, take care of dishes, they can clean, they can also monitor for certain health conditions so that we have doctors say, okay, this person is subject to this particular disease or this ailment. We know they need to operate within these parameters. If it on a scale goes too high, we need alerts. If it goes too low, we need alerts on that. And it can be connected back to, maybe by video, a healthcare professional at a hospital, a doctor's office somewhere to monitor it and they can talk to them saying, konnichiwa, o genki desu ka? How, good afternoon, how are you in Japanese? I know a little bit of Japanese. And so they would say hello in that. And if they respond back, go, genki desu, <laughs> okay, then that means you're all right. Or they go, wawuri desu, well, that means something's real wrong. And so they could immediately make a determination, do they send a team over to help? Do they make some adjustments there? And so it's a combination of using the AI, the robots to get these things done, as well as humans that can directly connect with another human. I think, once again, it's not either or, it's going to be both and as we move forward.